Whiskey stones or cooling cubes are popular with whiskey drinkers because they can cool down the drink without diluting it. But whether you're a whiskey fan or not, there are some other great uses for these cooling cubes. Let me show you three of my favorites. So this is a tray of ice and it's how we cool most stuff down. But the problem with ice is it's made from water. That water melts. And depending upon what you're chilling down with that ice, well, that could be a bit of a disadvantage. So that's where things like these cooling cubes come into play. These cooling cubes are stainless steel and you get all of the chilling effect of the ice, but of course they don't melt down. So they're just cubes of stainless steel that you put in the freezer. They are completely reusable, so you just rinse them out afterwards so you don't have to make more of them when you're done. Let's put these to the test. Test number one, the beer is not cold. This is an emergency. You want to drink some, but warm beer, no thank you. But this is where the cooling stones should be able to help us. So just simply drop a few cooling stones in. I'm impatient, I want to drink this right away, so I just put all of them in. And we've gone from room temperature to actually that's that's already nice and cold and hey it looks really cool as well in the glass and in just a few seconds it's been in here the beer is now down to 59 fahrenheit which is actually kind of cellar temperature for a for an english bitter and i think a few more minutes and this would have been really ice cold so there you go if you don't want to dilute your beer and you need to get it down to drinking temperature quick that's my number one now that's chilling down something from room temperature to cold but actually my favorite use number two is to use this with my coffee machine to create iced espressos and the water to coffee ratio in an espresso is very important and I build my espressos to a very precise mix I use exactly 17 grams of coffee grounds and I expect to get out 32 grams of coffee so if I'm measuring everything out and getting it all precise, if I start putting out a bunch of ice cubes in there as well, which are gonna partially melt, but not melt all the way, how do I know that I have the right ratio of water to coffee to have the perfect espresso? So I just add some cooling cubes into a glass and then put that onto a scale, weigh out the water as it comes in, and then let that hot coffee fall directly onto the cooling cubes and I pull the lever when I get to exactly the water volume I want, 32 grams. And by the way, the cooling cubes that I'm using, these ones, these come straight off of Amazon, very inexpensive. It's recommended to chill these in the freezer for three to four hours to transfer enough of the chill into these stainless steel cubes. So I just keep these permanently in the freezer whenever I need them. Then when I've used them, I'll just make sure I wash them off and dry them and then add them back into this container again, back in the freezer and I'm, I'm ready to go for next time. Okay, so let's talk about number three. And this one is for when you want to keep something cold for a little while. So I have a cocktail shaker here and I'll fill this with the cubes. And I have two packs, I'll actually fill it up with these two. And through my typically bad planning, I'll take my white wine, which I would like to have served cold. Pour it straight in here. This will instantly chill the wine upon contact and has the advantage of keeping my drink cool. Now I have instantly chilled white wine and yeah, Ooh, I can feel that, that feels cold. So those are my three uses for cooling cubes. Have you got any of your own? Have you tried these out? If so, let me know in the comments.